In this video, we're going to adjust the MOD mould by taking away the sides and substituting glass microscope slides instead. Now here we can see putting some bulk fill material into the cavity and packing it in. Obviously I've sped it up. And the point I want to make here is that composite, unlike amalgam, cannot be condensed. When you push on it, it just kind of smushes to the side. And if you haven't got a good adaptation to the bottom of the cavity, it's pretty hard to achieve that at the very end when the cavity is now full with composite. Of course, when you do this in the mouth, you'll never see that the composite is not well adapted to the floor of the cavity. So you go ahead and light cure it, not realizing that there are voids inside the restoration. Now, one way to avoid these voids is to preheat the composite using a composite heater, and then to deliberately inject the composite into all the nooks and crannies, but not rely upon packing it in. As you can see in the video, the warmed composite comes out of the compule very quickly, and it adapts well to the cavity walls. Now, because this is a large MOD restoration, and because this is a small diameter light tip, I'm having to cure it over each of the proximal boxes separately and also over the center of the restoration. In contrast, if I use a larger tipped curing light, I can do this in one or two exposures. Now in this next video, I'm using, again, the bulk fill material, but this time from a syringe. And again, it is heated. And you can see that when you put it in, the composite does adapt fairly well, but it's already now starting to cool down. We see that the composite that went into the first box is well adapted, but the composite that went into the second box was not quite so well adapted and there's a small void in the corner. And see how when I pull on it, it actually pulls away from the side of the cavity, leaving a void there. Now we're going to light cure it using the Velo X, which has a large tip on it. You can see how the Velo X covers the entire restoration of light, whereas the smaller light tip definitely requires two exposures, one over each proximal box. And even then, you can see that the amount of light reaching the bottom of the proximal box is much less than at the occlusal surface. I hope you found this video illuminating because rarely do we see what happens when we fill a cavity with composite. My preference is to use the heated compules and inject directly into the cavity. But as the video showed, if you want to, you can use the syringes and heat the composite in the syringes. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for watching.